starting to get a lot of inquiries into our technical team about NZEB. What is NZEB and what does it mean for me? So today we're going to cover off some of the key points relating to NZEB. NZEB stands for Nearly Zero Energy Buildings. And it was introduced into the revised 2010 version of the EPBD, which stands for the Energy Performance of Buildings Directive. And this document loosely describes NZEB as a building with a very good energy performance, but with a significant proportion of that energy achieved from on-site or closely sourced renewable energies. Some of the key dates there in relation to NZEB, all public buildings built after the 31st of December 2018 need to be NZEB, NZEB standard. And all buildings after 31st of December 2020 need to be NZEB standard. So we look at this one for the public buildings. Clearly any public building now that's at design stage and planning or on the drawing table, we really do need to be thinking about NZEB at this stage. And the same also for all buildings thereafter. So where will the NZEB standard fit? within current regulations and previous regulations. Well, if we look here back at 2005, all regulations after that were based on a reference dwelling from 2005 regulations. So the energy performance coefficient of the 2005 reference dwelling was one. The regulations then changed in 2008 and the energy performance coefficient was reduced to 0 0.6. So that was a 40% improvement on 2005 regulations for domestic dwellings. Our current regulations, the 2011 regulation, the energy performance coefficient is 0 0.4. So that was a further 20% improvement and a full 60% improvement on the 2005 reference dwelling. Now we come to NZEB. The energy performance coefficient for NZEB is going to be 0 0.3, which is a further 10% and a full 70% improvement on the 2005 reference dwelling. So moving on now to look at some other key figures. NZEB houses are going to have an A2 BER rating. Currently we're sitting in around A3, so the new NZEB standard is going to be typically an A2 BER rated house. With a primary energy consumption of less than 45 kilowatt hours per meter squared per annum. The maximum permitted energy performance coefficient, which we've looked at here, said it's going to be 0 0.3. The maximum permitted carbon performance coefficient is going to be 0 0.35. One point of note is that the backstop U values are going to remain the same. So they're not going to be any more onerous. So it still will be possible, uh, maybe difficult, but possible to achieve the NZEB standard with the current backstop U values. So what then is the most cost effective and best solution to achieving additional 10% improvement on the energy performance coefficient. The energy performance of building directive, which we've covered, has said that an NZEB building must have a very high energy value and that a significant proportion of that energy must be achieved from alternative renewable energies. But point of note, it goes on to say that the building the building's heating and cooling demands must be designed to an optimal level before actually looking at the renewable or alternative energies. In other words, design a building which needs little energy, then we don't have to worry a lot about where that energy comes from in the first place. In other words, it's promoting the fabric forced approach. And the fabric forced approach is the best and most cost effective solution to achieve in the NZEB standard. We need to address our thermal bridges. 
and we need to use project specific say values as opposed to default terminal bridging factors in our BER calculations. Quinlaid have a full range of accredited construction details and associated say values which are up to 750% better than the say values achieved from the current acceptable construction details. So it's details such as these that are going to be key to achieving the NZEB standard in a cost optimal way. Quinlaid are also promoting a new wall construction, Sims by Quinn. Sims is a super insulated masonry system and it combines the benefits of Quinlaid thermal blocks, thin joint technology and a certified external insulation system to give you a wall construction which will help meet the NZEB standard in a cost optimal way. For further information on Sims by Quinn or indeed any other of our product services or offerings, please contact our technical department. Thank you.